Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Wednesday the 12th of June. We've got some new mods and we've got some updates as well. The map Bergen Landkreis Light by Nop82 and Otti Patel no modding has had an update that says a new save game is not required, a new save slot, so that should be good to go. We've got the Lizard Rumbler Pickup by DD Mod Passion, the Rumbler Tow Car by Cashdown18, and the Lizard Rumbler by Cashdown18, the Agricultural Trailer by GNFS, the Case IH Easy Riser 3215 by Case IH Brazil and Connect Modding. We have got the Pertinger Top 722 by Agri Design Austria, the Euromark TX27HD by Agri Design Austria modding the english barn pack by lancy boy the bunker silo hall by the lort and the polish house by kasper samon and pate now we have two new maps out today which i will get on to as soon as i can we've got jewel valley by gridu and we've got glengarry by digip jewel valley i think is an australian map as far as i can tell and glengarry is northern ireland fictional glen on the antrim coast in northern ireland so i'll get onto those as soon as i can that's it for the updates let's get on with the mods i'm going to start with these tucked inside the building just here this is the indoor fuel tank with pump this is by isgm tunica tante isg modding it is 9.17 megabytes download they're three slots each the difference between the two is flow rate we have got just here the fuel tank with pump and then we've got the fuel tank with pump realistic now it does say in the details for this that the standard one i think does one liter per second for impatient people there's the unrealistic one which does five liters per second so i think that's the unrealistic this is realistic that one i've already filled up 2500 liters click on it and you can go in your increments up to whatever you want but if we go for a full 2500 let's buy that you'll find these under build mode and under container so they are just here 1500 for the um unrealistic 1200 for the realistic slot counts on those with three and come down to one for both i didn't actually check for color option no there's no color option you get them just like that so what i'm going to do is uh just out of curiosity we've got the unrealistic option let's swing into here uh, why is that not giving me the option to fill up this does take diesel i know it does I've just remembered what it said in the, in the description. Pretty sure. There we go. We have to um, turn up radio on. Well, no. Oh, there's a radio down there on the floor. You can turn the radio on. It did say in the description you've got to turn the pump on first. There we go. I'll do the same with this one. Must have to turn them off. Ah, oh, now. That'll be around this side, won't it? That was why I thought, I'm sure this tank takes. Uh, takes diesel so it should do this tank should hold both no problems well there we go refuel so that is your unrealistic fill speed it's still taking a little while and if we go to realistic fill speed I'm trying to go ultra realistic into the correct one Hmm. That's cute. Unless that's taking from the wrong side. Let's turn the pump off on this one. Just to make sure. Make sure. Make sure. Can certain. Turn the pump off. That's better. I think it was still taking from the other tanks. I've turned that one off. And as you can see now, that's a much slower refill speed. So, let's say, depends what you want to go for. Whatever floats your petroleum boat or diesel. Let's turn the pump off. Don't want to leave that running. But that's the indoor fuel tank with pump by ISGM Tanika Tant. I think it's Tante Tant. 
ISG modding. Next to that, we've got this. This is the gas station BR Brazil. This is by Zero Ito. It is 7.13 megabytes download. There are two fuel stations and a sign. The fuel stations are 17 slots each. The sign is three slots, so that can be placed independently. Difference between two fuel stations. One of them is a standard fuel station. Come and refuel, no problem at all. The other one will earn you passive income. 1,000, no, 125,640 per calendar month. Build mode, this was also under containers, I think. There we go. For 1,000, we got the gas station. For 1.5 million, we got the gas station that earns you money per month. That's the one I went for. Again, I don't think we've got a colour option on this, have we? Nope. And then for 250, we've got the sign, which you can... I mean, you can put one either side down the road if you want to. It's in touch you. Twist them, tilt them, whatever you want to do. The choice, of course, is yours. But those are the two fuel stations. Really nicely detailed. Loads going on with our pumps. We've got gasolina as well. Ethanol. Facilities, should you require them. A little shop in here as well. Very nice indeed, that. The gas station BR by Zero Oito. Next, this is going to blow your mind. It blew my mind a little bit. This is the Magic Carpet by Not Ready. You heard me. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. It's really good. It's very cool. 6.17 megabytes download, four slots. You will find it under vehicles and miscellaneous just there it's only a hundred that's all slot count comes down from four to one a thousand horsepower there's no options on it you get it just like that it even comes with a lamp now what's really cool as well if we hop on so you've got first person like that third person like that hanging on for dear life we do have a that i love that's such a cool feature very very smart like that um engine's already on and we've got open cover if we open cover we rub the lamp and it comes up and says, stop rubbing the lamp, I'm on vacation. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. That's maybe small today, I like that. 65 miles an hour. I love the little ripple on the carpet as well as you go in. So if you want to travel around your farm, checking things out on your magic carpet. Why not? Live a little. <laughs> Get a little bit, of, it depends how fast you're going when you turn. You can get, if you turn too sharply, you get a little bit of tilt there. Just be careful. I haven't fallen off yet. I love, I love that. The glow on that as well is so well done. I know it's bizarre, I know it's bonkers, I know it's not realistic, and I know it's not farming, but it doesn't matter. It's still cool, and it still made me smile. That's the magic carpet by Not Ready. Let's turn the light off, engine off, hop off, I say engine off. <laughs> next, we have got, um, actually I'm going to do these next while we're right next to them. Now this, we already had, um, and it got removed, it came out off the mod hub. Now it's come back, but not as updated, it's just come back as, because I'm sure I've reviewed this already. It came out the same time as the Rumbler tow vehicle, the same day. I did them both on the same day. But anyway, it's here in front of us. We'll have a look. This is the Lizard Tow Trailer by Cashdown18. 4.92 megabytes download, four slots on console. And on top of that, we have got the Lizard Mini Buggy by GNFS. 6.96 megabytes download, five slots on console. I only put that on here to see if it would lock down because it doesn't have tension straps. I'm sure I said that last time as well. Um, and it locks down no problem at all. So this is your... Uh, your trailer, Lizard Tow Trailer by Cashton18. You will find this under tools and low loaders. Just there, nine grand. Slot count comes down to one. We can have floor open or closed. So if you're running smaller equipment and machinery, you can get it on there. That being said, when you put the ramps down, I don't think we can adjust the ramp width. So you're still kind of, yeah, that's a bit of an odd one. Um, rim color. Any one of those. And then license plate option on there too. So what we'll do, let's start this up. Uh, we can unfold, which does that. Open and close, puts the chocks away, like that. Um, let me just double check that. Yeah, that's um, curious that you can, I suppose if you want to play stuff on there, but the point of having that closed in is if you've got something with a narrower wheelbase, 
than these outside bits, it will still go on. But then the ramps aren't adjustable, so it would still... Hmm. Curious. Anyway. That's the trailer, the Lizard Low, uh, the Lizard Tow trailer by Cash 18. So let's move on to this then. This you'll find under vehicles, under cars. Right there, the Mini Buggy 2200. Slot count will come down from, what did I say it was? Five, down to one. We've got the option of Will Brand, Lizard, Trailerborg, PKT, back to Lizard. So we can roll through some different tyre options if you want to go full Monty. Like that. And the same on your BKTs. Like so. Then we've got Design No, Design 1, with the spoiler on the back. And then we've got Spoiler with the side winglets. You've then got Steering Wheel, Design 1, Design 2. Raises the centre of it up a little bit. We've then got Front Protection, Design 1, Design 2. If I take that off, now be, be aware, side numbers, no, and then we've got 0 through to 9. And then we've got the same thing again, side numbers, so you can make up whatever numbers you want to. But the numbers where it says side numbers, as far as I can tell, I can't see them anywhere else. They only appear if you've got the front protection on. So there you go, you can see the 0 on there now. If I go through, I can roll through up to 9. Um, if I go to side numbers 2, I can then roll through those to pick whatever number you want on the front. Uh, we've then got main colour, choice, anything on that palette. And then rim colour, again, anything on that palette. And that's it. No option to change the colour of the numbers. That's how you get it. Start it up. There's no horn. There's no lights. It is what it is. Little buggy with the spoiler on the back. First person, 62 miles an hour. Wasn't the magic carpet 62? Is everything set at 62 today? There you go. That's the Lizard Mini Buggy by GN FS. Next. We've got this. This is the Gorenk Grazer 600 by BGamer003. 7.06 megabytes download, five slots, six meters wide. This is under grassland care. Now what this is designed for, you have to be careful. I think I'm going to test it. Usually when you cut your grass, it takes it back one fertilizing state. You can fertilize and you, know, you can pay for if you want any fertilizer you want to put down to get your second fertilizing state. But the grassland care tools are designed to give you that fertilizing state and it's free. So if we go into our tools and equipment and we go to Grassland Care, that's where you'll find it. The Grazer 600, slot count comes down to one. It only requires 25 horsepower. I mean, the tractor I've got is way overkill. For a six meter, that's really, really not very much at all. What should happen is, we'll drop that down. It says roller, but there you go. As we drag that across, it's giving us our fertilizing state. Just conditioning the grass, taking out the dead stuff, weeds, bits and bobs like that. Now I think it will still work, but if I do this, it will take, it might do. Yes, it will take your grass away. So whilst it will give you a fertilizing state, you have to be careful. I would always suggest cut your grass first <laughs> and then use it to get your additional fertilizing state. Otherwise it will remove grass that has grown. That's just something to be aware of. Nice bit of movement on the chains and stuff. There you go. Whoops. Where is that? Like that. Okay. The Gorenk Grazer 600 by B Gamer 003. Next. We have this. This is the Lemken Heliodor 9600. American. This is by STV Modding and LJR Modding. 10.44 megabytes download, 9 slots on console, 6 meters wide. This is under Disc Harrows, this one. So if we go to the harrows of the disc variety, just there on the end, 36 grand, 180 horsepower required, slot count comes down to one. We have the option of a Trelleborg, Michelin, Vredestein, back again. Under Trelleborg, we have got that and that. Under Michelin, just that. 
and under Vredestein, we have those two. You've got design standard or extension, which adds those extra rollers on like that, if you want those. I think that's what I went with. And then rim color, red or black. Those are our choices. Now, usually disc arrows are shallow cultivators. So what should happen on this section, it shouldn't bring these stones up. I'm also checking for, do we have any options for adjustment? I don't think so. It goes at a fair speed as well. So what will happen now, if I go across a crop that's just been harvested, we should get this look, which is your shallow cultivation. There we go. Shallow cultivator. That's the Lemkin Heliodor 9600 American by STV Modding LJR Modding. Really nicely made, really nicely detailed. Very cool. Next, we'll drive back over. We have got the uh, the Vaderstats NZ900 by Slashmon. 14.1, sorry if I say that wrong, I say, I say Slashmon every time. 14.11 um, megabyte download, 10 slots, 9 meters wide, and this is under cultivators. So the other one was um, a disc arrow, this one's under cultivators. This will probably bring up small stones, 9 meters wide, nice smooth un unload, unfold. So. This one then, we run disc arrows. This is cultivators. Go out to the end there. 75,200. 180 horsepower required. Slot count comes under one. No options. You get it just like that. Drop it down. That's a fair old pace as well. 14 miles now, but it is bringing up stones because it is a cultivator, not a shallow cultivator. And again, if we move over here on a crop that's just been harvested, you will see, when we drop this down, it won't give you a shallow cultivation, it will give you that look to it. Nice bit of flex on that, those sections, so if you've got a bit of rough ground, you're not going to miss anything. Excellent! The Vaderstadt NZ900 by Slashmon. Next, we've got this. This is the FTG by Rimvis. 45.06 megabytes download, 21 slots on console. It is a log bunk, log trailer. Doesn't have a rear trailer attacher, so you get it just like this. For smaller operations, but it's got a crane built on. If we go to our forestry equipment and then roll out to just there. 30 grand, slot count comes down to one. No options, apart from a license plate. So you get it exactly how it is. What we can do is we're on control group crane at the moment. So the crane operates like most other cranes you have seen or have got in game. You might be new to the game, you might not have seen any of the cranes. So we've got our up, down, left and right. We've then got our unfold of that main section and extension on that section. Let me just get that going the right way here. There we go. And then we can extend that boom out as well, like so. Then we've got L1, R1. We've got rotation of the crane head, open and close of the crane head, like that. Now, you can see we've got a bit of wobble on there. A press triangle takes us a support leg. That's what we should have done first, was put our support legs out, just to give us a little bit more stability for our operations. A lot of people aren't big fans of the cranes, the way the physics work. They don't always grab logs particularly well. This one doesn't have tension belts on the actual crane grab. I don't think it does. Let me just double check. Uh, switch back to that. I think it's just on the bunk itself. Yeah. Close that. Rotate that. And do that. Um, but we do have tension straps on here, which can be done in cab or out of cab, as you can see. It's got quite a bit of wobble on that. We start back up again, but then we do so. Also, we do so also. We also have the option for stake section on the back to extend that out for slightly longer logs if you want to, or retract it if you don't need it, or for transportation down the road. 
however you want to look at it like that. So we can extend the whole trailer like that. There we go. That's the FTG by Rimvis. Uh, next. We've got this. This is the Krona Optimat uh, Alice Lada. This is by Glum... Glumpy, Glumpy and Privat Privat. 36.17 megabytes download, nine slots on console. It is a forage wagon for picking up your swaths, etc. But rather than have it at the front because it's trailed, um, I say it's trailed, most of them are trailed, um, but the way it's set up, it picks up from the back. It does have an option for a silage additive tank. I've got 25 litres of silage additive in there. Depending on if you're picking up grass, you'll get the bonus with that. I will check with the other one. I'm going to do straw first. Sometimes you do get a bonus. You're not supposed to, but sometimes it works. So if we go onto our forage wagons, nice and cheap, this one as well. Not a bad capacity either. Just there, 12,480. 20 horsepower required, that's all. Tiny tractors can operate this, no problem. Slot count comes down to one. So we've got the option of a 9,000 litre, 20,000 litre. And then that, although it doesn't say that capacity... When you click and it got again over, it takes it adds on words. It adds on the silage additive tank. So that doesn't have a silage additive. That doesn't, but that does have silage additive tank on there. Um, and we've got the option of Trelleborg, Vredestein, Lizard, Continental, BKT, back to Trelleborg. And the BKT, we have got those two. And under Trelleborg, I'm not sure if I can get this right. We have got those four, I think it was. Uh, that. Yeah. Then we've got the, there's a brake. So you can have a brake added onto your front section uh, on your towing bar, spa. Uh, we've got design, yes and no. That adds a lip down the bottom. I couldn't, I think it's just an extra support bar um, that adds a bit of rigidity on the front down there. And then we've got license plate option on there, yes or no. So, what should happen? We can start it up. If we start spinning the back, lower that back section down. And as we go forward, I'm keeping an eye on my uh, silage additive to see if that goes down at all. It should only go down for grass. So we go. So picking up our straw swath, no problem at all. What we'll do is turn that off, raise it up, and then we should be able to unload here. Like that. And if we switch over to grass, that's when you should see the silage additive go down. And I think it's a 5% bonus you get by using silage additive. There you go. It starts going down already. And we are filling up with our grass. Nice sound effects on that as well. It's very cool. Not got a bad pickup either. The width of the pickup's pretty good. It says it's missing a big bit. And there you go. That's the Krona Optimat um, Alice Ladder by Glumpy, Glumpy, and Privat. Privat next. We've got this, and it must be the magic carpet. It's something like that. It's like my prayers are being answered as we move forward. It's, it's incredible. Um, this is the SIP uh, Majavika 80. This is by Vulex and DM. 6.13 megabyte download, six slots. Um, this is a trailed harvester. <laughs> you can't make it up. I've only been talking about this literally today on my Let's Play. Um, a trailed harvester. What are the odds of this? It's just... The Majavika. Anyway, you will find it under Vehicles and Harvesters. So if we roll out to there, the Majavika 80. 9,700, that's all. 2,900 litre tank. Not a huge tank on it, but then it's trailed. It's not supposed to be. But it will harvest all of those crops. <laughs> I thought, brilliant, I just need one for corn. It looks like it's got a corn attached on. That's perfect. No, it will do all those crop types. So like a regular harvester header. Um, options on this, we've got Trelleborg, BKT, and back again on the tyre choices, but nothing within those. 
no colour options or anything like that. You get it just as it is. So, if we start this up. Oh, it was running already. Oops. Um, we can turn on the harvester. We can lower the harvester. Just lower the head. Swings out a little bit. And now we are harvesting corn. It's not a forage harvester, it's a harvester harvester. We are harvesting. It's absolutely fantastic. And if I do a crop that, that you can do a straw swath with, it will leave a straw swath behind as well. The stars aligned. It all just works out perfectly. Now, if we switch that off and raise that up, tilts it back in a little bit. Now, as far as unloading goes, We've got pipe out. Takes a little bit of time. The whole hopper rises up and tilts, but it won't unload until you've got something underneath it next to it. Now this isn't quite high enough for the trailer I got. It's still unloaded, I, I tried this already. Don't worry, it won't fall out. But it won't give me the option to unload here. So I can't just tip onto the floor. It has to tip into something. But again, that doesn't really matter. That, I mean, I think to have a trailed harvester, that's brilliant. I'm so we can get this trailer. We'll run alongside it. So if I swing in close enough, it should unload anyway. But it, it could do with a lower trailer, in all honesty. But it will unload. There you go. In goes my corn. All 44 litres of it, but it did do it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the pipe in. Just whiz round quickly. Um, I don't think I've got a crop ready that will leave a swath, just so I realise. I've got sorghum, but I don't think I have wheat. But what we can also do, let's pick another crop. For example, we've got sunflower next door. So let's turn on the harvester, lower the header. And it won't do... Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> it's fantastic! It's a, it's a small bit of equipment. But it makes a big difference because I was saying this on my Let's Play. You can run everything, everything in small equipment. Really small equipment. All trail stuff, all little stuff, all really cool stuff. But what we don't have is a trailed harvester in game. Boom. We might have on PC, but we do now. So there you go. That's the uh, SIP Majavika 80 by Vulex and DM. Next. We've got these. We've got more WSVS equipment from Dogface at BDBSSB. We've got the WSVS planter and the WSVS seeder. I think I've started with the planter on the piece of equipment. Um, 22.76 megabytes download for the planter. 17.32 megabytes download for the seeder. 24 slots and 18 slots. The seeder is a direct drill. The planter isn't. I think they're both 13 meters wide. I will double check that. I'm sure that's what it, what it said, but um, it doesn't hurt to double check, does it? I've said that many times before. Uh, as soon as I got the planter on first, we'll roll out to the end. There we go. 73,500, 16,000 litres capacity, 13 metres wide, slot count comes down to one. That doesn't mention it being a direct drill. doesn't say it gives you the option to. Um, options on it, we have got two seed, two fertiliser. So that's the tank, so you can do seed and fertiliser, or you can have all four seed, which I went for. I just prefer doing it that way, and I do my fertilising separately. Uh, main tank, anything on that pallet, we'll do that. The seeder underneath, again, let's go yellow. We'll do the bottom section, and now covers, we can change our cover colours on there as well. If we come out of there, and we go to our seeders, and roll out to the end. There we go, 73,500, 16,000 litres, slot count comes on to one. Um, and that one did say, there you go, look, it says... Offers the possibility to seed directly. No previous cultivating or ploughing is necessary. Options on this. We don't have the option to change the tanks over. It's just um, seed. But we have got the option for main tank, seeder and cover on this. The same as the other one. Now this does also work with the trailer that comes as part of the WSVS pack. As you can see. The advice I gave last time. I didn't follow again this time. <sighs> don't try and transport it on the trailer full. Doesn't like it. <laughs> I filled it over there, the whole thing tilted, it all went a bit wonky, but it, it will work on this. And if I turn that on now and detach, 
there we go I should be able to oh no wrong one there we go let's do that detach there we go move that out of the way and then that's ready to go for its seeding duties but what we're going to do first is jump on the planter now we're not looking at the actual main vehicle we've done the WSVS system before this is just the planter itself and we can swap through our options on our planter to pick what crop we want so let's say we're going to put cotton in the ground we can fold our seed let's, let's raise it up fold it that's how it comes so we unfold it drops it down a little bit we lower our seeder by doing that we can open our covers let's raise that fold it now as far as detaching it will do that no problem so what you'll do is you'll get your main tractor unit bring it in so now we've got harvester units as part of the, the say the full pack we've got the spreader sprayer unit we've got the cedar and planter I think, what else do we need then we're good so let's unfold it lower it turn it on We are planting. So stop that, raise that. And I'll de sorry, fold it, then detach it. What I'm gonna do now, whoa, detach first before I go whizzing off. I'm gonna go and grab the cedar and I'm gonna go over the section that's been harvested which hasn't been cultivated or done yet. Just to show you direct drill. I'm hoping I haven't got that. It did definitely didn't say that the plant had a direct drill direct drill option whoa they're way too fast let's try and line that up there we go hook up unfold drops down a little bit And on. There we go. There we go. Direct drilling. Very, very cool equipment. Very, very cool. There we have it. The WSVS Cedar and Planter, both by Dogface BDB SSB. Nice. Uh, what have we got next? Oh, yes. We've got the New Holland's 900 Chopper Pack by EY Modding. And it's here, so or part of it. So this is a forage harvester, trailed forage harvester pack. Um, you will find it under forage harvesters. Come out to the end under headers. So you've got the chopper unit itself there. 20 grand. Uh, slot counts on these were 4, 3 and 2. So 4, 3, 2. Um, 75 horsepower required to operate this no options you get it just like that it's got its pipe it's got a trailer hitch on the back for attaching a trailer behind when you run and it's open because then it will take either of the heads eight grand and eight grand 1.5 meters wide two meters wide again no options on these and these are forage heads they're not half it's not a harvester it's a forage harvester so it will be producing chaff now i would suggest you run a tractor that doesn't have jewels on because trying to, even if you open this out, trying to get your attachment on when you've got jewels, it, you haven't got quite enough room. So it's just it's a bit of finagling you can get it on there. So once you've got your unit, you attach like that. So that's our main unit. So that first one, 
that's the one that will all crop so it will do corn it will do all the other crop types as well and turn it into chaff the other one will pick grass up off the floor to turn to chaff uh, if we open our pipe out that will adjust and then we swing around we should be able to hook onto our trailer there we go hooked up like that so what we can do now we can turn it on drops the header down automatically we'll all crop on on uh, sunflower since we're here doesn't matter because it will do it so as you can see it's taking that sunflower and it's turning it into chaff chaff is going into the back and it will work on the crop types that it showed including corn again this one I think the trailer is probably a little bit too high whilst the pipe is working um, because it's trailed it's designed for smaller equipment smaller fields um, not really for massive trailers um, because the pipe's not quite high enough so that's it chaffing like that and if we whiz over here I've got one already set up that's got the um, unit on it for uh, grass work so there's our grass picker upper same unit same trailer I'll well, probably do need to pipe out as well um, nothing to point out if I detach the trailer from the back um, that is how you get it so it's folded already when you want to operate in the field we unfold the harvester like that which swings the whole unit out and should bring it a better angle like I say because I've got the twins on there and it's quite a big tractor anyway it probably could do with a smaller tractor it doesn't require a lot of horsepower to pull it so probably is a little bit overkill pipe out turn it on head drops down already and away we go Now, as you can see, it's not actually turning the grass to chaff. I've, that's always been a thing with forage harvesters. It will chaff everything. When it picks up grass, it puts grass in the back as grass. I'm going to test it just because it doesn't hurt to try. What I'm going to do is uh, switch to that. Unload here. Let's get rid of all that. Just to be thorough. It shouldn't pick the straw up. No. And it shouldn't do hay either. It's normally it's normally just grass. It's what it usually says, but Yeah. I say. Doesn't hurt to check and be thorough. So we go. Again, I know I say it with all the mods, pretty much. Nicely made, nicely detailed. Does the job it's intended to do. Looks good. Very cool piece of kit. That's the new Holland 900 Chopper Pack by EY Modding. Next. We've got this. We haven't had one of these for a while, have we? This is the Case IH 1455 by Chrissy. Morris 3001 TWD Modding. 19.51 megabytes download. 14 slots on console. You'll find this, I always find this quite surprising, but it's under small tractors, this one. I suppose it's not a very high horsepower, but there we go. Out on the end, 102,000, 145 horsepower, 1455. We've got the option of Trelleborg, Michelin, Consensal, Mitis, BKT, Vredestein, Nokian, and back. I'm not going to read them all out, but I'll go through the Trelleborgs. Trelleborg has a narrow option. There's only a couple of them have narrow options. Um, Michelin has all the other options. Actually, no, it doesn't have full twins. And it doesn't have narrows. Then we go to Continental. That does have narrows, but not quite as narrow as the other narrows. Mitus. Widen weights. PKT. Again, doesn't have the full twins all the way around. I'm going to check the um, knock-in just comes like that. Trailer ball, did I have that? 
Oh, it didn't. For some reason, I thought that had twins all the way around. That's me saying, oh, it doesn't have twins all the way around. The trailer board didn't either. Right, so then we've got exhaust standard or stainless steel straight through. We've got steering standard or we've got a steering knob or we've got GPS steering, which um, oh, doesn't do anything. I think it puts a trimble on the steering wheel or something like that, doesn't it? Uh, we've then got attachers, standard, front weight, three-point or back to standard. So if you like your three-point on the front, great. If you need some extra weight in the front, great. Main colour, anything on that palette there. Rim colour, anything on that palette there. Licence purpose on there too. Let's jump in. Horn, lights, beacons, L1, R1, left stick side to side. Does the rear window, doesn't it? Yep, does the rear window. Let's zoom in a little bit. Right stick side to side, does that door. And right stick up and down, does the other door. Nice sound effects. A beastly sound to that. Interior, nice detail. I went for the steering knob, not for the uh, full GPS package. It's not quite loud, isn't it? Though? Pretty cool, though. There you go. That's the uh, Case IH 1455 by Chrissy Morris 3001 TWD modding, which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. And it's this, right here. This is the John Deere 9R series 2012-2014 by SB Farms. 18.01 megabytes download, 26, 26 slots on console. You'll find this under large tractors. Right there, 331,066. That's not a bad price, is it, for a 9R? Where's our other... Yeah, it's all right. I suppose it's an older vehicle, technically. Slot count comes down to two. We've got configuration standard, 800 kilo back weight. So that puts a little back weight pack between the two wheel arches. We then go to the front. It keeps that weight on there. It goes 1,400 kilo front, 1,800, 2,200, 2,800, and then back off again. We've then got engine set up. We've got 360 horsepower, 410, 460, 510, 560. And then it moves on to the 9460 Scraper Special. Uh, 486 horsepower, 539, 591, and back again. So 591 being the highest it will go. That was something I didn't look for, actually, to see about the Scraper. Because I read the Scraper Special and thought, isn't that one where you, you can actually attach a dozer blade on the front? I can't remember now. It doesn't say that one comes in the pack. Um, we've then got the option of Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Mitis, BKT, Vredestein, back to Trelleborg. I'm not going to go through all of them because the tyre options, once we go through the weight options, you've got with wheel weights, wides, widened weights, twins, then you've got weights like that, weights off, rear. Trelleborg has more options than any of the others. Um, and then we kind of roll through various different wheel weight and tyre options for each of them. Which we're kind of used to now, aren't And back to Trelleborg. We've got three-point hitch on the back, no or yes. Not too expensive, actually, to add that on the back of there. Then we've got the link monitor, yes or no. Puts the monitor inside, puts GPS RTK thing on the top. So that's just yes or no. We've then got EU or US option. I went US, but there's an EU option as well. And license plate option on there too. 
So, let's hop in, start it up. Now, uh, L1, a right stick side to side, opens and closes the door. No other door or window options. Horn, lights, beacon. There's rounded arches on the back. God, the lighting's pretty good as well, isn't it? Interior. Column monitors doing what they should be doing. Actually, that's what I was going to do, wasn't I? I was going to check for... It's usually under levellers. Just in case. Not one in there. It's part of this pack. I think Scraper Special might just be, it just adds a horsepower on for the option should you wish to, because it adds that decal on the front as well there, yeah, Scraper Special. But there you go, that's it. That's the John Deere 9R series 2012-2014 by SB Farms. That's it for the mods for Wednesday the 12th of June. Um, like I said, we'll get onto those two maps, Jewel Valley and Glengarry possibly one this evening maybe both tomorrow i've got someone coming hopefully helping me sort out the internet out to the man cave this evening well in the next hour or so so i will get onto those as soon as i possibly can i hope you have found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching